Hey guys, this is Galactic from Galactic's Tutorials, and in this video I'm going to show you how to make a simple motor uh, for my 100 slash 200 subscriber special. Alright, so the motor that we're making is uh, the Homo Polar Motor. Yes, make your jokes. Uh, but basically it's one of the simplest motors that you can make, and it's called Homo Polar because you can uh, use both sides of the magnet or um, both sides of the battery to uh, make it go in an opposite direction uh, so that's pretty cool uh, but the reason why I'm making this my 100 subscriber video is because I kinda wanna get into like hands-on tutorials not just software stuff um, and I think that this is a really simple great way to uh, get started with it so I uh, hope you enjoy this uh, video alright so let's get to the materials uh, part uh, what you're going to need is a neodymium iron boron magnet uh, I got this in a 10 pack off Amazon.com. The link is in the description uh, for about $15. I mean, you get probably cheaper ones, but you want the three quarters or maybe even half an inch so you can just hold the uh, uh, battery on there. All right, you're also going to need some uh, solid uh, 20 gauge copper wire. Do not get the straighted, uh, it only works if it's solid copper wire. Uh, this came in a three pack. I got it from Radio Shack. Uh, for about ten dollars, you could probably get it for less since this came in a three pack. Uh, you really don't need this much. You only need about like ten inches. So if you could just find some around your uh, workshop, that'd be great too. All right, for the simplicity of this tutorial, I'm just gonna suggest you guys getting a AAA, AA, or even a button cell battery. Just don't go anything under or over 1.5 volts, or else it'll get too crazy and it'll probably spin a little too fast or too slow for you. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's rechargeable or whatever brand it is, just get something 1.5 volts. Uh, for the tools, you're going to want some uh, wire cutters. Um, it doesn't really matter what you have as long as you can cut the wire and uh, strip the plastic off the copper solid wire, whatever. Uh, just get something, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I've even used scissors, uh, just don't mess up the copper wire too much. And you're going to need a ruler for um, measuring the copper wire. Alright, now for building. Basically, you're just going to take out your ruler and you're just going to measure 10 inches or 25 centimeters of copper wire. Then once you like the uh, size of it, just uh, snip it with your uh, wire cutters. Should be pretty simple. Uh, then once that's done, basically you're just going to uh, take the plastic off your copper wire. It shouldn't be that hard, uh, it just takes a little while. And then once you're done, it should look a little like this. Then you're going to take your copper wire and you're going to bend it into a V shape. Uh, this is basically where you're going to put uh, your copper wire onto the magnet. Um, it really doesn't matter if it's uneven, you're just going to be bending it. Uh, if you really want to, you could snip it off with the wire cutters, but it shouldn't be much of a problem. Alright, so once that's done, you're just going to take out your battery and you're going to attach it to your magnet. It's pretty simple. Then you're going to take your uh, V-shaped copper wire and you're just going to bend it into kind of like a circular shape on both sides. Uh, this is basically just to allow it to uh, stay on the magnet. Uh, you want it equal on both sides so it doesn't fall off when you put it on. It's going to get really annoying if you made it uh, uneven. So just keep that in mind while you're bending it. Uh, sorry for the blurriness, uh, my camera's kind of stupid. Uh, but yeah, you're just going to bend it, and it's it might take a while, but believe me, it looks pretty awesome in the end. Now that you have your uh, copper wire into the shape that you want it to be, it should look like an O uh, with a V on the top. You're just going to take out your uh, little magnet battery uh, setup, and just put on the copper wire on the battery. As you can see, I made it so that... Uh, one side is uh, touching the front of the battery and the other side of the copper wire is touching uh, the back. Um, you can also see that it's uh, go coming off like really quickly. Uh, you need to really make it balanced on both sides. Uh, it's also helpful if, it's, if the copper wire is fairly loose on the battery uh, because, and you also don't want to make it too loose as you can see with that, what I did right over here. Uh, it's it's a lot of troubleshooting. Uh, you'll know when you get it right because it'll stay on for a long period of time. All I can really say um, is just troubleshoot and um, just find out where you messed up. Uh, also, it, it m might help if you get a larger neodymium magnet. I, I mean, I had a smaller one and it was really annoying me. 
So, and I got a larger one and it worked. So, uh, just troubleshoot. That's all I could really tell you. All right, and I finally got it to uh, work again. So, that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, if you like this video, feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe. Uh, thanks for watching again, and just thanks for the 200 uh, subscribers, guys. Uh, that really means a lot to me. I put a lot of work into my videos, and it's been a learning experience for me, too. Uh, so I hope this helped, guys, and I'll see you guys next time.